Hi there, welcome to BoxPed, thank you for tuning in. Okay, Floyd Mayweather Jr. going up against Manny Pacquiao on the 2nd of May 2015. These are my thoughts. As you will probably be aware, it's very easy to ramble on about this fight. Um, there's a lot to talk about, a lot to discuss, uh, many things that you could mention. Um, I'm going to try and be as brief as I possibly can. Um, I really don't want to, to ramble on and bore you. Um, so apologies in advance if I do that a bit, but I'm really going to try and keep it quite concise. Um, so the first thing I want to uh, talk about is, like many people, uh, I feel that this fight has come too late. Uh, probably about five or six years too late, in fact. Um, and in my opinion, if we're looking at prime for prime, um, we probably would have been better having this fight back in around 2009-2010, probably after Manny Pacquiao obliterated Ricky Hatton. I think that would have been a good time. Uh, for these two guys to go at it um, but at the end of the day uh, it's here and I'm happy it's here I'm glad the fight's actually happening and that we're not going to never see it uh, it seems you know it's it's not far away now um, and you know um, as long as neither of these guys pulls out of the fight uh, in the run up now um, then, then it's happening um, so you know, when the fight was first announced, I wasn't massively excited. Um, as it gets closer, I'm getting more and more excited now about the fight. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it happen. I'm looking forward to these two guys actually getting in the ring. Two Hall of Fame fighters, um, or they will be. Um, and, you know, like, if you're anything like me, you know, we're, we're, we're the diehard boxing fans. We're, we're, we don't get that excited or only excited about the big, big fights. You know, we're, we're watching Terence Crawford beat Thomas DeLorme last weekend. Um, you know, we're the type of guys who are looking at other masters at work uh, in the ring. And, and we're trying to see guys who are on their way up. And, and we're looking at the whole spectrum of boxing. We understand it's not just about guys like Mayweather, Pacquiao. There's fights happening pretty much every week that are worth watching. Um, and, and many of them involve guys that one day will perhaps... Uh, reach similar levels of stardom, and sim similar levels of, of, of uh, you know, uh, boxing supremacy. Um, so yeah, this fight is happening a bit too late. It's not like they're really old guys. It's not like a Roy Jones Jr. against Bernard Hopkins type of situation. Um, they're still respectable. They still both have. Um, they're still both pretty much at the top of the game. Uh, it's just that I do feel that a few years ago it would have been. Uh, when they were both in their real primes, you know. The next thing I want to talk about briefly is the location. Um, you know, a few months ago in my last video, uh, I had a question and answer video, and somebody asked me, I think it was Mikto, asked me, what would be the ideal location for this fight? And I agreed with him that it would be Wembley Stadium here in the UK, in London, England, uh, because it has a large capacity and we have brilliant boxing fans over here who create a great atmosphere. But it was never going to happen. It was just an unrealistic ideal. So, you know, it, it's happening in Vegas. And there are questions about that. Um, I spoke to my friend and he he brought this up with me. And he said, you know, there are questions to be answered as to why it's happening in Vegas. You know, they could fill out any stadium in the world. They could even do a text record and build a brand new super stadium. And they would fill it within hours. And there would still be a clamor for tickets. There'd be no problem selling this fight out in any stadium in the world. Um, but it's happening in probably a few thousand seater venue, casino venue in Vegas. Um, well, yes, there is, there is that question, you know, why would they not go for a larger venue? But I think the answer basically lies with Mayweather. He's the cash cow. It's his hometown, or, you know, it wasn't originally, but it is, it is now. He classes it as. It is, it's a home venue for him. He never fights away from there. I get the feeling that he had most of the, you know, the contract negotiations were all in, a lot of them were in his favour. Um, he basically is the cash cow, so he gets the big say um, in terms of, the, of of where the fight's staged. Um, <clears throat> and also, you have to remember that Vegas is a fight town. You know, Vegas is, you know, at least for the past couple of decades, has been, you know, the, the pretty much a mecca of boxing, and all the big fights in recent times have been there. Um, so. It makes sense for this to happen in Vegas. I'm, I'm actually, I think it's quite, quite um, suitable to be happening in Vegas because, you know, the great fights that have gone before, you you feel it's in keeping with tradition, uh, in a way, 
um, for it to be happening in a place like Vegas that has such a good boxing reputation. And they know how to put on the show, they know how to do it. And obviously there's that ga the whole gambling thing, you know, Vegas is a huge gambling community um, and of course the majority of the money comes from TV anyway these days, it's not from selling out a stadium, it's from the television rights, it's from the pay-per-view gate um, and you know, that that's what we're playing with these days. So it, it kind of does make sense if you really think about it. Um, <coughs> Let's get on to the boxing uh, side of things, because that's what really matters here. Um, I think it's uh, a close fight. I think it's closer than it was a few years back. I think as time has gone on, it's become more, closer, more close. I think a few years ago, if the fight had happened when I was saying it should have, I would have given the fight to Floyd Mayweather by a unanimous decision. Um, as it happens, because it's happening now, I would go more with a closer decision, probably possibly a majority decision, um, could even be split. I wouldn't be uh, surprised, having said that, if the fight ended a draw, and I obviously would. I wouldn't be surprised if Pacquiao won the fight by decision. Um, I think it goes the distance. Um, now there is the possibility, as with all fights, that either guy could stop the other. Uh, Mayweather could set a trap catch Pacquiao, Pacquiao could get to Mayweather, there's no evidence for that, but I know boxing, and this is boxing, that's what happens in boxing, the unexpected happens. Um, if you look at the recent histories, uh, I mean, for Pacquiao, you're looking, the last time he stopped a guy was back with, I think it was Cotto, in the 12th round, TKO, back in, what was that, 2011-12? And with Mayweather, you're looking uh, at Victor Ortiz. And that wasn't really a massively legitimate KO. It was just something that occurred in the fight, which was a bit, a bit of an anomaly. Uh, if, you, if you want to look at the last guy he really properly stopped, in my opinion, that was all the way back to Ricky Hatton in 2007. You know, we're talking you know, eight years ago, eight, nine years ago. None, neither of these guys has really been stopping people. They've not been you know, power-handed, They've been winning by decision, and in in the last few fights, there's you know Floyd in particular has had some majority decision victories, um, go in his favour. So you start to think, well, actually this fight probably goes a distance and is probably close, and and I think it's going to be quite possibly controversial, the outcome to this fight because I wouldn't be surprised if it's a draw. Um, if it goes either way, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a close fight, um, because really. Um, it's going to take either guy to really dominate the fight for there not to be any cause for complaint from the other side's fans because they both had fans from both sides who are quite passionate about their fighter and there's going to be, I think, after this fight if it goes to the, to the scorecards there's going to be quite a lot of outcry from, one, from the losing side um, <clears throat> I think it's close because I think that over the last few fights I've seen uh, Mayweather slightly... Uh, slow down a bit. He's taking the centre of the ring more. He's not running so much. He's not moving so much. He's not doing what LeBron Peterson did to Danny Garcia the other week, um, which I f a fight which I think was close, but Peterson probably beat him. Uh, as frustrating for Garcia it is, as it was, uh, Peterson was on on fire in terms of his form, and I was quite surprised he was actually um, that he, he actually you know got to where he did in that fight. I thought Garcia was going to beat him handily. Uh, but he fought well. Um, you know, May Mayweather's not really doing that anymore, um, which a few years back he would have done. He would have been able to completely evade Pacquiao, and Pacquiao would have got frustrated. Um, you know, Pacquiao, on the other hand, has had a devastating KO loss, uh, but in a way, that what, what's he got to lose? The worst thing that happens, it happens again. He's lost, you know, Pacquiao's lost. Mayweather hasn't. The pressure's not on Pacquiao so much as it is on Mayweather in those terms. Um, but I think that kind of goes out the window with sort of like the rivalry these guys have had you know it, 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 there's a lot of pressure and a lot of bitterness there and each guy really wants to win this fight so if they lose this fight it will be devastating for, for either guy although there probably is a rematch clause particularly where um, Floyd Mayweather is concerned if he should lose um, so from Mayweather's point of view he's standing more in the centre of the ring he's going to be easier to find He's going to be having to, to possibly trade a bit more with Pacquiao, which plays into Pacquiao's hands. Um, <clears throat> and what Mayweather needs to do in this fight for me is what he's always done, and that's focus on counter-punching. He really needs to, to be on his top countering game in this fight. Um, 
and he, and what I know he probably doesn't like studying tapes. I think he just says he does it on the fly in the ring. But I th really think for this fight, it really would be worth, you know, somebody in his camp studying tapes of Pacquiao, particularly the tapes against Manuel Marquez, um, because they're going to be the blueprint of how Mayweather beats Pacquiao. Because all he needs to do is look and see how where the traps were set, where Marquez had success, and how he had success, and was there any any areas where he had success consistently in terms of counter punching um because a few years ago i you know like i said i would have given it to uh mayweather by unanimous decision because i feel that he would have just been too he would have been kryptonite for pacquiao you know pacquiao doesn't like counter punches it's his kryptonite that's why he suffered with marquez for years um because he, he does struggle against counter punches and i think that mayweather has always had the tools it was kind of a no-brainer for me. He, he's always had the tools to uh, to take Man Manny Pacquiao apart in that regard. But now he's slowed down a little bit. Um, okay, he's still rapid, but he's slowed down a little bit from his former self, in my opinion. And his footwork is <clears throat> not as mobile as it once was. Um, so he's going to have to escape somehow for 12 rounds. And that's quite kind of difficult to, to imagine. Um, Pacquiao is still... Uh, a potent threat in offense, and I think he needs to work off on offense more than def defense. There's no point focusing on defense now. You know, you need to go out there and really be an offensive force and do what no one else has been able to do and actually land on Mayweather consistently and with, you know, to actually hurt the guy. Because um, guys have done it in the past, like Mosley did, Shane Mosley caught him a couple of times. Um, Maidana in the last couple of fights gave Mayweather some trouble. But no one's done it consistently enough to, to actually win the fight and I think that Pacquiao with his speed and his his power and his his angles that he throws can pose a real threat to Mayweather in this fight he can pick up points in rounds and the thing is judges like aggression particularly in my opinion judges in Vegas they love aggression um, they like guys who take the lead in fights and that's the problem Mayweather has here is that Pacquiao is going to be taking the lead quite a lot and being on the offence and he's going to really try and put it on Floyd and push him back a bit. He has to be careful not to be caught in traps. Uh, that's Roach's job now to to show him the traps that Mayweather has set in the past and how not to get, not to let them, uh, let not to be caught, brought, uh, sold by them. For example, when Mayweather goes back towards the ropes and he slips to the side horizontally, uh, lateral movement, and then it sort of encourages his opponent to come in to lunge in, and then he sort of cross counters them in the way that he stopped Ricky Hatton. Now, I think I saw a snip where Roach was telling Pacquiao there about this. He was saying, um, don't don't lunge in because he will come across, he'll cross-counter you. That's that's dangerous. So he has, you know, <clears throat> and Pacquiao was understanding that. So Pacquiao needs to really understand the traps that are set, make sure he doesn't put himself in vulnerable situations and show controlled aggression to really put in some clean work. Um, it's always easier said than done against Mayweather, but I think if it, if Pacquiao has a chance, it's now. You know, this is the best chance. He's catching him now. Uh, he's slowed down a touch. He's shown a bit of vulnerability against Madonna. And the thing is, what I've also felt is, is that if a more one-dimensional fighter like Madonna, who was only recently under Robert Garcia, was, was actually taught how to, to use any real boxing technique and throw straight punches, if he can get to, May, to, to Mayweather with some shots, what can Pacquiao do? He throws, he, he's, he's naturally gifted. He's quicker. He's uh, throws some better angles, um, good range of shots, you know, good foot movement. He can cause Mayweather some real issues in this fight, and that's why I think it's close. If he gets caught in the trap, could be could be all over. He could catch Mayweather, could hurt the guy, could even stop him. But I think it's going to go the distance. I think that Mayweather's going to pip it to the, pip him to the post. Um, although it will be close, and I think it may be controversial. Um, either way I'm looking to enjoy the fight um, I hope I've given you my thoughts and a, a, brief, a little breakdown there it's kind of tough to break down these fights with fighters who are so well known because everybody's watched them and seen them and they know how they fight and really there's not much more to be said um, there's, in this fight there's nothing I can really say well I would tell him to do this completely differently or him to do this differently they've both been successful at, because they're good at what they do so they need to really just employ those tactics to the best of their ability 
you know, and really be the best that they can at what at their niche, and then hopefully that hope hope that that's good enough to to beat the other guy, at, uh, you know, and to and to negate what he's doing. Um, <coughs> all in all, it is still a huge fight. Um, I see, I I I see a close fight. Let me know what you guys think. Um, enjoy the fight. Um, I don't want to go on now. I, I've said enough. Um, I, I just uh, hope I got my points across, and I hope there's nothing I, I've missed that I wanted to say. Um, so I'm going with uh, Mayweather by a close decision. Um, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, as always, and hopefully now during the summer, after some outside, um, some other um, commitments that I have pass, I'll be able to drop a lot more boxing videos for you guys. Um, so thanks for sticking with me. Um, I do appreciate it. This is Box Spread. I'm out.